I'm Jamie. I'm Jeremy. And welcome to Gilbert Farm. So about four months ago, uh, we entered into a collaboration with Road to the Farm and Life in Farmland to do a Dills Atlantic pumpkin growing competition. Now, this was done on my daughter's channel, and I'm going to leave that in the comments below if you want to check out her videos. Uh, her name is Zombie Pudding, and you can go and see uh, what she did with her pumpkin seeds. Now, we ran into a lot of challenges along the way, um, but we did get our pumpkins going. Um, they were thriving wonderfully. We thought we were going to have a great uh, turnout for our pumpkins, and then the squash bugs came. They not only demolished our garden and our squash that we had planted, uh, but they ate all of our pumpkins. Um, every single one has uh, damage by the squash bugs. Um, so we were able to get a couple pumpkins uh, out of it. Um, one of them actually uh, rolled down to the bottom of our driveway uh, where we propped it up against our mailbox uh, and, uh, and unfortunately it started to rot down there uh, and I had to chop it up and compost it. But we were sort of able to get um, some measurements off of that one uh, before um, I had to compost it. For those of you that don't know, the Dills Atlantic pumpkin is purported to get between 200 and 1,000 pounds. So we knew we weren't going to be able to put that in our garden. Instead, we cleared a spot in the front of our house and uh, we planted the four plants here and figured that if they were going to grow to any size at all, that the kids could carve them right in the spot. And they did. They got ginormous. They took over not only this entire area, but the sidewalk and part of the yard and grew up into the landscaping on top as well. We ended up getting five pumpkins out of the four plants. And all of them, unfortunately, towards the very end there, ended up getting squash bugs. Uh, squash borers got into the vine um, and they started eating up all of the vines and the plants in the vine side. Um, so we ended up taking the pumpkins off the vine and hoping that they would maybe make it. We have a rot spot here from the squash bugs. Um, here's our other pumpkin. This one so far looks to be pretty intact. Um, this one has some rot here. You can see the stems are pretty damaged. And here's our fourth one, which seems to have taken uh, minimal damage. I'm going to let my daughter, Zombie Pudding, go ahead and measure these. And you can see the size of them um, and the weight of those. These were the smaller ones, but uh, we think she did a really good job in, in growing them. This has been overall a really good science experiment for the girls. I really think that they enjoyed it. I know that we did. Okay, so now we are going to start measuring the pumpkin. No. The pumpkin measures 35 inches. This way. It measures 37 inches. And all the way around the pumpkin, let's see how much. That would be 50 inches wide. Okay, so if the pumpkin, it totals up to be 112 inches, and on the pumpkin chart, it would be 47.6 pounds. Thank you, Road to the Farm, and 
thank you Life and Farmland for letting us participate. We'd love to join you next year in whatever competition you guys come up with. So after much consideration, uh, we've decided to start our own YouTube channel. So welcome to Gilbert Farm. We want to give back to the community that has given us so much. Uh, we feel like we have unique circumstances here at Gilbert Farm um, that may not um, be portrayed in a lot of other homesteading channels. And we think a lot of people might be interested in what we have figured out over the last year. Um, yeah, we don't feel like we're any uh, authority on homesteading or we really know what we're doing. We're just trying to figure it out as we go and uh, we thought as we learn new things and come up with new solutions to problems and challenges, we'd uh, share them with all of you. So please subscribe to us. We have a lot of videos that we have planned. Uh, we'd love to see you around. Yep.